Hi there, this is Alan Borthwick from Ducks Financial Services uh, and in this video I'm going to show you how to download your full bank statements and part statements from ASB Bank. Obviously you need to log in first and you'll come up with a screen that looks like this. Now a lot of this will be blurred out because it's my personal uh, bank statement uh, but we don't actually need to see most of the main stuff for the first part for the full accounts. We want to go over to here to where it says Document Center on the left click down there and click on documents. Now it's a fairly busy looking page here. What we want to do is first off is make sure this period is correct. Uh, it's probably going to default the last six months, which is fine. Uh, it, you may need three months. Uh, we'll let you know most of the times we need three months for most bank accounts and six months of savings. Over here, turn off all documents and click on statements because all we want is statements. Now I've got lots of different setups because of different entities, uh, most of which you can't see. So get rid of all accounts um, and only get the ones that are relevant. Now it may be that all these are relevant for you, in which case it's fine. Uh, so in this case I'm gonna click on this one which has got three different uh, accounts, or two different accounts in this case. And you can see here it's got statements going back um, six months, or going back, yeah, six months for each of the accounts and on the two zero zero and zero one suffixes. I'm not going to use that one though, just I'm going to show you an example on this one. I open up here, this is the 8th of February um, 2018. Click on that and it should bring up a save box, which it, then you just have to save it to the right folder. In this, in this case, it's defaulted to the desktop because that's the last account uh, folder I used, but yours will default to wherever your computer does. And you have to navigate to the right folder where you're saving all the documents for us. Name it if you need to, and then click on save. All right. I'm going to open it up just to give you, show you something. Now it's, always, it's got the name and it's got the address here. You won't be able to see this, but that's okay. Uh, and it's got the period. Now in this case, um, for these transactions, uh, the last transaction was dated the 2nd of March. Now I'm recording this on the 2nd of April, so I'm going to need to do something about uh, that period of time because there's probably a statement due tomorrow, but I need it today in this case. So what I do is I go back to uh, the internet banking. I go back up to to accounts to balances and I click into the specific account now which is this one and you have to do this for each account by the way and I bring up over here the last period now that was the 2nd of March so I'm going to change that to a 2 and I can change the rest of these as I want to and all I do is um, click on view on screen okay brings up the transaction the yields will be more or less depending on how busy the account is I can't use any of these options here why because uh, the bank won't accept these formats they won't accept spreadsheets, etc. So we click on print, and it will bring up uh, this print box, which you won't see all of. In fact, just off the side of the screen is a box, a little button called print. Click on that, and it brings up your print dialog box. Now yours will look a little different to mine, um, but you need to find the right printer. Now, ignore this. This is my personal printer. I've got a bunch of different printer options. You're looking for either this one here, save as PDF, Microsoft print to PDF. We use Nitro, so we have Nitro PDF Creator. Uh, at the very least, if you don't have any PDF options on a Microsoft computer, you can click Microsoft XPS Document Writer, which I'm gonna do in this case. Um, if you select PDF, it's gonna be exactly the same as before. I select this, and then I want it portrait in color. Click on print, uh, and it brings out this. I'm gonna have to name it, I'm just gonna call it test, test and go save. All right, now that's going to save that for me. I'm going to go and find this document just to show you what it looks like. And I'll bring this across to here. Uh, and I'm double clicking on this. And I'm bringing this across. And you'll notice that this, this looks fine. So I'll make it easier to see. Up here it says test OXPS is the name of the file. Don't worry about that. Um, basically just email this to us, we can convert it to PDF. Now you only, if your computer has the option to uh, print to PDF, so over here I'll change it again and go uh, Microsoft print to PDF, click on print, still portrait and color, same thing, I'll save it, I'll go, I'll save it as test PDF, oops, doesn't matter, I'll save as ODF, save, here it is here, I open it up. Now because we use a program called Nitro, it looks like this, if you're using um, Adobe Acrobat, it'll be different, but it's exactly the same. So 
do that for each account you need to and then send them through to us if when you are doing this your asb setup looks very different to mine let us know all that means is that asb have changed their settings and we need to um, update this video if you have any questions let us know and don't forget to check out our other videos thanks very much